All right, in the last video, we made it so that we are actually displaying some text on the screen, which is awesome. But now we need to go the next step above that and actually make it so that we are actually updating that text to keep track of the number of enemies that we are actually destroying. Now, the thing is, right now, we are actually using this global.gd to actually like keep track of everything for us. And... Whenever this enemy is actually killed, we actually want to be updating this label as well afterwards, right? So there's a couple ways to go about that. And the big one is we need to be emitting a signal onto everything. So let's go ahead and start to do that right now. Okay, so in order to make your own custom signal, and remember signals are those things that we connect functions to, and we were using them in earlier videos. All you have to do is actually write down signal, and then you can do something like tilt enemy or something like that, right? And simple, easy peasy, right? To make the signal itself. Now the hard part is actually connecting the signal to the things that you want to connect it to. Well. First off, we need it to actually send the signal out to certain things at some point. So what we can do is actually write using a piece of code called emit signal. And then all we have to do is write in kilt enemy and go like that. Then if we go into the script that we want to actually receive the signal, we got to use a little function called connect, right? So what we'll do is we'll say global dot connect because that's the thing that has the signal inside of it. And we want to connect the kilt enemy signal from him. We want to connect it to ourself. And then we need to use the string name of the function that we want to run that off of. And we haven't created the function for that yet. So we want to actually just say update text on here, right? Or something like that. And then when, whenever we update our text, we'll run that. But first, let's go ahead and finish this connect. And let's go ahead and put down update text onto here like so. Right, and then all we have to do is actually make update text actually do something. And when that does happen, we can just simply put down number of enemies left. Actually, we can just even copy this whole thing on here and go like this. And then instead of actually putting this on here, we can actually go ahead and say update text like that. Right? This way, we are actually updating the text every single time that the enemy is killed and that signal is being sent off to us. And if we go back into the global and check that out one more time, you'll see that we're actually doing this before the score is updated. So that's actually not okay. What we actually want to do is go down to here where the score is being printed out and such and print it out there because the score minus equals one is ha happening at this point. So at this point right here, I believe that should work. We have enemies left 20. I need to kill an enemy to test out this method wherever the enemies are. There's some firepower. And there we go. You saw that the text got updated to 19, which is absolutely perfect. Uh, it's carrying over from uh, different playthroughs, which is not something that we want, but we're going to leave it for now. That fixes everything that I wanted to do for this video. Uh, I think that we got to a good point here. We did some custom signals, which is pretty important. Uh, I, we are literally one video from the end, guys. We're going to make a video with multiple levels inside of it just to kind of mix things up a bit. And then after that, it's... It's all done. Um, probably going to fix some bugs and polish some things up at some point. Uh, we've got to make it so the score doesn't get carried over from board to board. But this is pretty much everything that you need to know to get started with Godot, which is really what I was trying to go for. It's really messy. <laughs> it really, really is really messy compared to like how people should program and stuff. But the goal here wasn't to teach people clean code. It was just to get people's feet wet. So anyways, I hope that you liked it. Uh, please like, subscribe, leave a comment. Thank you so much. Have a great day, guys.